It's like so hot out here. It's almost, I'm almost cold. It's so hot. So much sweat and so bad. You ever get that way? Hey guys, got another custom e-bike build here for you today. This one's a cool one, full suspension bikes. Love these bikes. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I build custom e-bikes. Take a regular bike, turn it into an e-bike. You get a better, way better value that way. And you get it exactly how you want it. If you like this video, you should think about subscribing. I don't know what that does, but everybody says it on other videos. And so I want to be cool and I want to say it too. I don't know what actually happens when you, when you click it. Uh, so let's get right into it. Let's go over this bike, what it is, and what we put on it. This is the Trek Fuel EX5. So this is a this is a nice full suspension mountain bike to begin with. It's really nice. Uh, rock shocks, front, rear suspension, shock. It's got a 10-speed drivetrain. It's hydraulic disc brake. So it's a nice bike. <laughs> I don't know what, what else do you want to know. It's a nice bike. You could see everything else. For the motor, we went with a thousand watt BBS HD motor. I believe this one needed a hundred millimeter spindle length on it because the bottom bracket was like, it was like an 85 or something like that. So I think we needed to put 100 on this one because the 68 just wouldn't fit. This one also had the BB30 bottom bracket. So I had to put the bottom bracket adapters to bring it from a BB30 to a BSA and then it fit fine. You can see this battery, the 48 volt 11 and a half amp hour. Yeah, 11.6 amp hour just barely fits in here. It's like perfect used a double bob from grin technologies to put on here and then it just clamps onto the frame so it's like it's just super strong if you ever if your battery is ever wiggling too much or you plan on doing a lot of heavy off-roading even if your water bottle mounts mount up fine i almost recommend adding a double bob or a triple bob to it just so it clamps it onto that frame and it's definitely nowhere because a lot of times you'll get you know some wiggle when you shake on the battery with this nothing it's on there the display we went with the 500c color display you see that there the chain ring we went with the lecky 46 tooth and we were just going to keep the standard one but it, the chain kept popping off in the lowest gear because it was too much of a chain and so adding this lecky i think it, it's just the, the the narrow fat profile on that chain ring that really just grabs that chain and it holds onto it like glue so if you're having problems with your chain popping off in that lowest gear or even like the two lowest gears, probably just switching out to a Lecky, that's L-E-K-K-I-E, -E, I'm not mispronouncing Lucky. Probably just switching to a Lecky will take care of all your problems. I've um, got hydraulic disc brakes here, so we just upgraded the brake cutoffs to hydraulic disc brakes. Hey, how's it going? All right, let's go do a Johnny Nerdout test and see how this thing does on the top speed and hill climbing test. All right, so you can see um, top speed, 36 miles an hour, plenty fast. This is with a 48 volt battery. Hill climbing, you know, with a running speed, with a, with a running start, no problem. With, from a dead standstill, you know, switching out to a lower chain ring would hugely make a big difference. So if you're riding something like this and you wanna get like a, you know, better hill climbing, Either get a bigger gear back here or a smaller one here. It's just all about gear ratios. That's how performance on bicycles get changed. Cool, all right, take her easy. Yeah. 